So last year I made a video about AI making a setup for me in the Porsche Cup cars. But AI has evolved one more year and I wanted to see if we can get better results out of AI when it comes to making setups. So we're going to hop in the Dallara P217. We're going to drive on the baseline setup for a while. Then we're going to let ChatGPT know what kind of stuff I don't like about the car and what I want to have changed. We're going to make a setup with all its tips and then we're going to be driving the newly operated, the newly created AI setup. And we're gonna see if these average lap times are coming down or if the setup is completely unstable and crazy. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's just jump in and see how it goes. We're on the baseline setup here at the Nürburgring in the LMP2 car. So what I'm looking out for is how the, what the car feels like, how it drives. I don't feel like the car is working uh, against me at any point. I feel like I can normally drive this circuit without too much trouble i can push the lmp2 a little bit nice exit there let's see what our first lap is like we're clocking in a 149.2 that's good overall. i sometimes want to throttle out of, of corners harder than the car allows so maybe a little more uh traction control would be nice or maybe... Oh, shucks. That was my fault, not the setups. Maybe maybe I would have made that with a little more downforce. So, let's note that down as well. Just a little more downforce would be nice. Second lap, what are we at? 150.3, yeah, because of that frick up. Sometimes I feel a little bit of a wiggle when I try to push it too hard. The 149.5 or 0 0.6 I, I believe a little bit of oversteer during that corner all right here we go the last lap you this was the 149.5 our last lap here on a baseline setup is coming to a close doesn't feel too bad i'm not too fast with it so let's see if we can get a lot faster with a different setup or if the AI will just completely frick up what we've got going here. 150.3. So, after five laps, our current average on the baseline setup is a 149.79. And I think we can get a lot faster with a setup that is provided by the AI. What I mainly found uh, with driving the LMP2 at the Nürburgring was that I wanted the car to react more to my steering inputs in high speed corners and also maybe a little bit more stability during acceleration. So let's go over to JetGPT. So JetGPT gave me a ton of tips that we can use. So front wing angle, rear wing angle, front springs, rear springs. So let's use all this stuff that ChatGPT provided us with. Let's add it to the baseline setup and see if we can get faster laps done. So we've changed a lot uh, to the anti-roll bars, to the arrow, uh, to the springs. So all kinds of stuff is happening here. I feel like I can get more on the throttle without having uh, it, it, there's less trouble, there's less hassle when I get on the throttle. And I think it's amazing how much information ChatGPT can actually give. If you understand a little bit about setup, you can imagine what the AI means. So I don't know if it, it's getting that information from real life setup stuff or if it's just aggregating all kinds of information about um, the, the setups of the Delara P217. So, not really that much faster yet. This new setup that ChatGPT created is actually kinda, kinda buzzing. I must say, it doesn't feel like complete dog ass so that's that's great if uh, ChatGPT can be your technical assistant on on 
stuff like setups that that's just great you just got to tell it hey i'm having trouble with this this kind of stuff what should i do with my setup and it, it figures it out i mean the car drives well it is not completely unbalanced and i kind of expected it to be what are we doing low 49s I don't think we managed that with the baseline setup. It's managed to make this car somehow more stable, but also more reactive in the corners, which is, I, I find, an amazing job. I couldn't have done this myself. So this hairpin, it goes a lot better with this setup as well. Increased aero really helps with keeping up this, the, the minimum speed high there. I love that. As well as in this Schumacher S's. Before on the baseline setup, I really had to struggle. I had to wrestle the car through this corner complex. Now I just guide it. Yep. It remains quite stable in these conditions as well. Let's see what we do. 149.7. Very early on the throttle there. Very nice. It handles it well. Plows through that corner like it's a field. And I'm the plow, I guess. All right, almost coming to the end of the last lap here. Let's see how we do. Can we reach the 148s? It felt good. Felt like a solid lap. So, I think the AI has created a setup that works kind of well, uh, better than expected actually. The new average with this AI setup has gone down to a 149.4. Half a second of improvement, maybe because I drive better on this setup, maybe because the setup is actually faster. But in conclusion, I'm still a guy that doesn't know how to drive very fast. AI can definitely help you to figure out how you can change your car to better suit your driving style. I don't know if it's necessarily gonna make you any faster, but what I do know is that the car better fit my driving style after I had made the setup changes that ChatGPT had recommended. So I guess that's a win. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about AI recommending setup changes, if you've ever used it for any of these purposes, and if you've come to a different conclusion, because maybe AI suggested setups for you work like a charm anyway thanks for watching hope to see you next video i love you guys bye bye